Red Hood, a skilled and enigmatic member of the Nikkei, had always stood out among her peers. Her striking red outfit and fierce determination made her a formidable figure in the ongoing battle against the Rapture forces. Despite her imposing presence, there was an underlying sense of solitude about her, a mystery that intrigued her fellow Nikkei and allies alike. One day, the Nikkei headquarters received distressing news of a Rapture stronghold in a remote region. The mission was to infiltrate and dismantle the facility, a task that required a precise and tactical approach. Red Hood was assigned as the lead, her reputation for getting results making her the obvious choice. The team assembled, each member equipped and ready. But it was Red Hood who took charge, her sharp eyes scanning the map and her mind calculating every possible outcome. As they approached the stronghold under the cover of darkness, Red Hood's leadership was evident. She moved with a grace and efficiency that spoke of countless battles fought and won. Inside the stronghold, the team encountered heavy resistance. The Rapture forces were numerous and well prepared, but Red Hood's tactical brilliance shone through. She led her team with precision, her command swift and decisive. Each step was a dance of combat, her movements fluid and calculated. It was clear that Red Hood had a personal vendetta against the Rapture, her resolve unwavering as she pushed forward. As they reached the heart of the facility, Red Hood discovered a hidden chamber containing a mysterious device. Its purpose was unclear, but its design was unmistakably advanced. She knew that destroying it could cripple the Rapture's operations, but before she could act, a powerful Rapture commander appeared, challenging her. The ensuing battle was fierce. Red Hood's skill was on full display as she battled the commander with a mix of precision and ferocity. The clash of their weapons echoed through the chamber, a testament to their strength and resolve. Red Hood's determination was unwavering she fought with a singular focus, driven by an intense desire to protect her comrades and ensure the mission's success. In a final, decisive strike, Red Hood overcame the commander, the Rapture forces faltering in their assault. With the enemy leader defeated, she turned her attention to the device. A well-placed shot destroyed it, causing a cascade of explosions that dismantled the stronghold's infrastructure. As the team regrouped and began their extraction, Red Hood took a moment to reflect. The mission was a success, but the battle had taken its toll. Her teammates, though grateful and impressed, sensed the burden she carried. Red Hood's solitude was not merely a preference but a shield against the pain and loss she had endured. Back at the headquarters, the victory was celebrated, but Red Hood remained distant, her thoughts lingering on the conflict. Her role as a leader was clear, but the cost of her relentless drive was evident in her eyes. Despite her victories, she remained a figure of mystery and solitude, her past a shadow that shaped her present. In the end, Red Hood's story was one of triumph and sacrifice, a testament to her strength and dedication. Though her battles would continue, her legacy as a fierce warrior and a leader of the Nikkei was secure, etched into the annals of their history. That was the kind of person Red Hood was, a leader, a warrior, and my best friend.